Japan is a beautiful country. When I say beautiful, I'm not just referring to Japanese aesthetics, but also the spirit of the Japanese people. Too many natural calamities, and yet Japan's way of dealing with its wounds is beyond intriguing. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will explore seven intriguing psychological ways Japan heals every time. My name is Linda Ashok and you are watching Mastermind. Shinrin Yoku Forest Bathing Japanese people embrace nature's therapeutic embrace. Shinrin Yoku invites everyone to immerse themselves in the forest, letting the sights, smells, and sounds of nature wash over them. Studies show this practice reduces stress, boosts mood, and enhances concentration. Next time you are headed to Japan or you just feel overwhelmed at home, Walk into the woods if you have nearby and be your own healer. Kintsuki. This is a very popular Japanese aesthetics. It's called golden joinery. Broken pottery becomes a masterpiece. Kintsuki mends broken ceramics with gold symbolizing the beauty of imperfection. It's more than art. It is a mindset teaching us to appreciate our scars and flaws seeing them as unique features, not defects. Now, courtesy the book of Ikigai, Ikigai, the reason for being, has become very popular. Through this, you can deep dive into self-reflection. Ikigai asks you, why do you wake up in the morning? By identifying passions, values, and talents, one finds a fulfilling life purpose. When daily actions align with Ikigai, happiness and motivation soar for the Japanese people. The Morita Therapy By this therapy, Japanese people embrace feelings, but they don't let the feelings control them. Originating from Zen principles, Morita Therapy helps individuals accept emotions without judgment. Instead of suppressing or fixating on feelings, they act in alignment with their true goals. It is a journey from reactive to proactive living. Nikon Reflection Gratitude through introspection Practiced regularly or in retreats, the Japanese people experience Nikon, which is a deep reflection on one's actions and their impact on others. It nurtures gratitude, understanding and compassion, transforming relationships and personal perspectives. And of all, I really love this. It's called the Wobby Sabi. Finding beauty in the incomplete and transient. Much like uh, Kintsuki, it is rooted in Zen Buddhism. Wobby Sabi celebrates the imperfect, fleeting, and simple. Whether it is a chipped vase or the fleeting beauty of cherry blossoms, it reminds us of the transient nature of life and the grace in embracing it. You can watch the movie 5 centimeters per second and you will realize this beauty. For the Japanese people, session is a way of diving deep into Zen meditation. Session is an intensive retreat guiding its participants to profound states of consciousness and clarity. It is not just sitting silently, it's about touching the sense of existence redefining your relationship with the self and the universe. These Japanese therapeutic practices offer unique lenses through which Japan approaches well-being, embracing their devastating experiences every time. These practices might lack scientific evidence or there might not be enough scientific interests in this space. But these are nonetheless symbolic of Japan's core belief in inner healing, source from nature, diving into deep human psyche. So let me know, 
which one of these healing processes sounds most impressive to you and you would like to try it out someday. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on my upcoming videos. Until next time, stay curious and take good care.